हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन प्रीवियस ईयर्स क्वेश्चन फ्राम इंटेग्रल इक्वेशन दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्राम जून टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवनटीन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ फोर पॉइंट सेवन फाइव मार्क्स द क्वेश्चन इज लेट वाई एक्स बी द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द इंटेग्रल इक्वेशन दिस इज द गिवन इंटेग्रल इक्वेशन विच इज ऑफ वॉल्टेरा काइंड ऑफ सेकेंड काइंड राइट देन द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन वाई एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू इज इक्वल टू विच ऑफ दीज राइट so there are again you can solve this by many various methods i am solving this equation right now by converting this equation into the corresponding differential equation so let us do that this equation is given to be y of x is equal to x minus integration from 0 to x x t square y t dt right so let us differentiate this equation with respect to x right so we would have y dash x is equal to 1 minus integration from 0 to x here we we would have d dt integration with respect to uh, from 0 to x of x t square y t dt right so now how we can solve this we have to apply the leibniz rule for this term right what is that to take the uh, derivative of some integration we what we need to do firstly we'll have to take the partial derivative of this term with respect to t and then uh, you'll you'll take the derivative of the upper limit with respect to t and substitute the value of ut is equal to the upper limit and minus of the partial derivative of this lower limit with respect to t multiplied that term by f of t at where you will replace this term u now with a of t right so this is the rule you must remember this rule this is very useful so what is this it would be y dash x is equal to 1 minus so now the first term would be as it is it is integration from 0 to x then the partial derivative with respect to x here we are differentiating with respect to x mind that so it is partial derivative with respect to x of the term x t square y t right into dt as such then uh, we'll have plus of here let me put the brackets because of this minus sign so uh, then i have to differentiate this upper limit the x with respect to x that would be 1 multiplied by this term where i'll replace this t by x so i'll have x cube y of x right minus this term where i have to differentiate this lower limit with respect to t that would give me simply zero right so it uh, i'll would i would have y dash x that would be equal to 1 minus integration from 0 to x and what is the derivative of this term with respect to partially with respect to x that would be t square into y of t dt right and it would be minus x cube y of x right so now we must have the value of this and we can obtain its value from the given differential equation how let us see so this was our equation right so in this equation what i can do i can take this term on to the left hand side so i'll have and i can take this x common out of this integration sign why because the integration is only dependent on t we are taking it with respect to t right so this would be equal to x minus y of x so the value of this term which is same as this one right so it would be equal to 0 to t square y t dt that would be 1 minus y of x by x so let us use this value over here so what do we get let me uh, write this so y dash x that would be equal to 1 minus of 1 plus y of x by x minus x cube into y of x so this one and one cancels so this would give so this would give y dash x 
is equal to let me take this y of x common so i'll be left with 1 upon x minus x cube right so i can take this term over here so i'll have y dash x divided by y of x that would be equal to 1 of 1 by x minus x cube so let me integrate both sides here the uh, limits of integration are from 0 to x right dx so this would give us log of y of x that would be equal to log of x minus x raised to power 4 by 4 limits are from 0 to x plus some constant say c log of c right so this would be log of y of x that would be equal to simply log of x minus x raised to power 4 by 4 plus log of c so this would be log of y of x is equal to log of x c minus x raised to power y 4 so this would be log of y of x and i can take this term to the left hand side so it would be x c that would be minus x power 4 by 4 so ultimately the solution y of x that would be c x into e to the power minus x power 4 by 4 right so this is the solution now they are asking the value of y at x is equal to square root 2 so y at square root 2 that would be c into square root 2 multiplied by then e to the power minus square root 2 raised to power 4 divided by 4 so square root 2 raised to power 4 would give me 4 right so 4 divided by 4 that would be simply be e to the power minus 1 right so uh, if I take c to be 1 what is my solution or uh, let me just simply say y at square root 2 that would be equal to c square root 2 divided by e this is the solution let us look at our options so this seems to the solution when when c is equal to 1 right so this option is the correct option so the option the correct answer is option d that's it for this video thank you for